I recently have been organizing my closets and my cupboards and everything, and my lip color collection needed a dressing. I have over 180 lip products, not balms, but colors, glosses, lipsticks, you name it. Today I go through this holder, which holds 70 tubes. Let's see what stays. We are going to start with the first, what is this, 70 of these. And um, I'm going to try to make this quick. I'm going to try to be ruthless because with probably somewhere around 200 lip colors, like nobody, nobody needs that many. And starting right off with these from BK Beauty. You know what? Um, I don't even, oh, geez. Okay, I made the mistake of opening it. And uh, no, you know what? I did a video, a full review of all the lip colors, the lip pencils. I didn't like them. These are just going, okay? So three down. Um, this, oh, from Burberry. I remember I picked this up because Nordstrom was just starting to carry, um, what, uh, cosmetics. Now they have a bunch of it. The rack, I should say, not Nordstrom itself. And a gorgeous deep color, but it is matte. So that is going bye-bye. This is a drugstore. I think this is, uh, it's L'Oreal, and when I was looking for a perfect nude, and I don't think this was it. Okay, snap. <laughs> no. I'm going to try it. My mirror's right here. Okay, that actually is a really nice nude, and it's creamy, and it's moisturizing. If you're curious, no idea why they still make it. You can see the packaging. It's this kind of, it's, it's pretty packaging, this crystal. Shade 900 Glossy Fawn. All right, change my mind. We're going to save that. Here from Ulta Shiny Sheer. I was hoping that this gloss was going to be more opaque than it is. It's super, super sheer. That's going to go. Oh, from Tarte, this is the um, lip paint. And let me just see if I can. Oh, yeah. It is super, super light. Um, I mean, gosh, if it looked anything like it did in the tube, like I'm, I think I would keep it. But it's super light. Bye-bye. From NARS, this is, oh, this is some kind of pink. Yeah, see it there? Light pinks just don't work on me, so that's going to go bye-bye. Milani Ludicrous, this, um, gosh, there is a boat ton of color in this gloss. And as, as I recall, it's very, I mean, for, for such a loud, um, shade. It's really pretty. Oh, it's yeah, really pretty blue-based pink. Um, I just, no, I don't, if I want my lips to stand out, I've got things I like better than this. So, bye-bye. Um, this is basic, this has beauty, um, a subscription box written all over it. So, that's gonna go bye-bye. From Rose Ink, I know this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a one of those like crayon things. Hmm. All right. We're going to try it. All right. Gorgeous shade dry AF. No. I do not do not need anything that is going to dry my lips out. Uh what oh, color pop. Oh, you know, I kind of remember these as being pretty good. Let's go. Oh, oh gosh, that is dark. So yeah, probably not on that one. Let's see about this one. That's a little more reasonable. So I'm going to keep the lighter of the two. Get rid of the darker of the two. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Melted Matte from Too Faced. This was, it's got gingerbread on top, so it's from one of their, you know, holiday offerings. And, um, yeah, I just don't do matte. Bye-bye. From Ciati, it's a 
goodness sakes, a glitter flip. Ew, a big chunk just dropped out of that. Bye-bye. From, oh, Winky Lux. This is a topper. And let's go across, um, let's go right in here. I, I don't think you can see that. That is, I'll tell you what, because I have this very drying mat on right now. That made that mat feel so much better. Gives another um, melted matte metallic from uh, Too Faced. Not even gonna swipe it, that's gonna go. What is this little thing? Oh, Rare Beauty. I don't think this, no, this is not full size. This must have come in like a Sephora box. Oh, that is creamy. And that felt good. And I'm going to try it. I'm not a normally a huge fan of these mini lippies, but because it's skinny and in this long tube, I don't think it's going to snap off very easily. So we'll give that a try. Oh, Maybelline. Um, this is shade 370 Spice for Me. I remember, oh my gosh. This is one of, I think, the early videos that I did was this whole Maybelline For Me, all those lipsticks. And that's Spice For Me. I think that's a good color. We'll put it into that. Hang on to. You know, part of this is I'm trying to decide how many lip colors should I end up with. Um, so, oh, this Marc Jacobs. I'm so sad that he got out of makeup. This was a great shade. This is, boom, I don't even know why it bothers that I tell you, because you can't get it anymore. Okay, I gotta try it. Gosh, he made great gloss, and I do have actually a bunch of Marc Jacobs glosses, and I think this is, it's so pretty. I'm definitely keeping that one. Milani, I'm just looking at this bubblegum pink, and even with the Barbie movie coming out, I just, um, I can't imagine what drew me to getting that shade of pink. So, bye bye Scott Barnes. Do you know who Scott Barnes is? He's a makeup artist. I learned about him um, on Tati's channel, and I have a couple of his palettes, and I have a, um, gosh, over a half dozen of his lippies, and I like them. They, uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Hour, oh, hourglass, right? This is, do I have it here? Yes. I love the concept. I don't like the execution. Like, you know, this idea that you can swap them out. Um, I never do. Snap, where is this supposed to go? Okay. There it is, and, ooh, it's pink. Sorry, sorry. Um, you may be catching on that I don't really do pinks, especially soft pinks. They just don't do anything for me, so that's gonna go away, and as long as I've got the other one in my hand, what was that one? Oh yeah, up above the pink, that's kind of a burnt orangey red shade. You know, I knew I wasn't going to get out of this without wiping lip stuff off a bunch. Let's see how long I last. Okay, that's that's pretty. I think I need to put that in a current rotation. It's it's a little creamy, not super moisturizing. I have a feeling I don't know specifically if you know it's. I don't think it's supposed to be a matte, but it feels like. A hybrid like this might make it through like appetizers and cocktails. I don't know. Current rotation. Uh, from Bare Minerals, this is a, uh, a kind of a nudish gloss, Cosmic. I don't think um, it was great. I'm just going, oh. Yeah, okay, I'm remembering this now. It is, it is not sheer at all. It is really opaque and just not a great shade on me. So bye-bye. Uh, Iconic London. This feels like subscription box. And let's go. Ooh, the um, the applicator is super flexible. Um, that's frustrating. Who needs extra frustration in their life? Bye-bye. From 
them are definitely subscription box. First of all, this is horrible packaging. Like, that does not look like a shade most people want to put on their lips. Um, it's an ombre effect. I, I think they just a total miss on packaging here. Let's see about color. Another, another really, um, you can even see it. There we go. It's that bottom one. Another really flexible applicator, but I'm kind of intrigued by the color. Yes, it was hard to get that hourglass off. So like I said, I think it would last at least through cocktails and appetizers, if not partway into dinner. Okay, let me try this uh, Alamar one. Love, love, love the color. It's fabulous. It wasn't too much of a pain to put on what I can't stand. It is thick and sticky. Now, hear me out. I love me a good, thick lip gloss. I like it. But this, this is too sticky. It's too heavy. It's too gloppy. For that reason, bye bye Dose of colors. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty shade. Okay, I like this color. Dose of color. This is Nude Mood. And I'm trying to figure out... You know, recently I picked up that lip oil from Merit. It feels a lot like that. And this does not tell me whether it's supposed to be matte or a lip oil or what. It, it feels like it has the potential to dry down to matte, but it's not. Although clearly it has no shine. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the save category for now. Tarte Man Eater. <clears throat> Again, this is a, a nude-ish, although this has, oh, okay, that's the bottom one there. This has a little pink in it. Nope. Um, Jouet. This is Champagne Gold, which, okay, it's right there. Uh, it is gold. Um, I don't, I'm going to try it as like a topper. Okay, that dose of colors dried down to a matte lipstick kind of feel for me. That's a non-starter. That goes away. This Jouer, no, just, just no. Uh, H2O gloss this is from their Tarte of the Sea or whatever that was. I think this is like another topper. Ugh. Okay. Such a pretty shade. Now here, you know, it is a thick lip gloss, but not, it's a little gloppy, a little sticky, but not so, so much. So it's just right on the edge, but it's, uh, it's nice. And it is, what shade? Getaway. So yeah, I'm keeping that one. Oh, from Too Faced. I remember this. Even though it looks kind of pinky on my hand, it is a pretty shade on. I'm going to hit a few of these. I know I'm going to get rid of these two. I picked up at Target. They're from a company, Starling by Noya. Um, these are super opaque, super bright colors. Not really my jam anymore. Um, Urban Decay Vice Special Effects. This is a, oh, good grief. Oh, that just went over everything. A coppery orange, beautiful color. Just, I won't be um, wearing that on my lips anymore. And give me a second while I wipe it off my iPad. Number seven, high gloss, uh, high shine lip gloss. Yeah, that can go. From that same Starling by Noya, here is another shade. Yeah, that's going to go. Lip glass again. This is just a um, oh, yeah, okay. This is like that one from I don't even remember what it was, but it's pretty opaque. Whereas I was hoping it was sheer. Bye bye. Um, Milani Keep It Full. This is great gloss. I think they still make this line, this Keep It Full line. Um, you know, that is a good just either neutral. 
very sheer gloss. Um, it's getting down to the point though where I can almost not get any out. So that can go away. Um, from this is uh, Smashbox. A bright pink. Bye bye. Oh, from Gwen Stefani's um, Give line. I think that's how that's pronounced. I wanted to love this color and this gloss. I'm not, and I love the packaging. I love this clear acrylic. Okay. Let's take the tart off. That's a pretty shade. It was a little bit hard to get a lot out, enough out. It took me three dips to do this, but um, it has a little mint in it. From Sephora, their glossed line. Again, this is a super, super sheer gloss. Mm. I'm going to hang on to it. If I need to at the end make something go away, it'll probably be something like that. Uh, from uh, L'Oreal, just a clear gloss. You know, I don't really like gloss in tubes, so that can go away. Wayne Gloss, and this was from his first release. No, this is not. Um, this is the shade Pecan. I got to say that I own, what, eight or nine of the Wayne Gloss lipsticks. I love them all. They're beautiful. They're creamy. The colors are fantastic. I, th I feel like they would work with just about any skin tone. And can I tell you how nice Wayne is? Like, okay, I love his content. I love that he just really encourages us to be ourselves, embrace everything about ourselves, love ourselves. The very first time I reviewed his, um, his lipsticks, his first line that he released, he commented on my video. This was back when I had like 400 subs. So yeah, Wayne's got a special place in my heart. From Estee Lauder, this is kind of a funky metallic -y shade. Yeah, that's a, that's a little too funky weird. And from Stila, yeah, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty intense. My kiddo might like that. Put that over there. Um, oh, here's another one of those L'Oreal, ooh, lipsticks. I must have been looking for like a coral that would work on me. <laughs> that's a, yeah, no, that one's going to go bye-bye. From Sugar, oh, that's just a lip balm. I know where that belongs. Um, oh, Zoeva, this is another lip crayon. Eh, no. And from Ulta, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting color, but no. Oh, this is just like a frost lipstick. And, um, you know, I wore this the other week. I, it really didn't do anything for me when I, when I wore it. Um, Wet and Wild, just a, um, a topper. Don't need to keep that. Uh, another brand that is no more, Rebecca. Kind of a, um, a nude color. All right, I can't remember if I like this one or not. I feel like it makes me look like a corpse. From, who is this? Is this Maybelline? Looks like it, Plum Perfect. Okay. Mm. Nah, there are only 15 left to go. We can do this. From NYX Candy Slicks. Oh, goodness, look at how neon orange that is. That's a no. From Ulta Beauty, Patent Shine Liquid Lipstick. I just, no, not a, lip, lip, not a liquid lipstick. Sephora, you know what? This is a, um, a real red, like a cherry red. Like I said, maybe my kiddo wants that. This is from Milani. It's kind of coppery. Mm, yeah, not so much anymore. 
Okay. This is one of those Scott Barnes ones, and this came in a set. It was like a set of five. Um, yeah, that's purple, right? That is so, so purple. And even though, um, right, we live in the land of the University of Washington Huskies, uh, I am not a Husky. I will never, ever wear that shade. Bye-bye. Ah, what a beauty. These lip strobes, I remember really, really wanting this because they were supposed to be like color shifting and it just, it's a little too funky monkey for me. Stila, this was a gorgeous red, but I just really don't wear red anymore. What I've learned for me, that is like the one time I will wear a liquid lipstick that just dries down matte, so that's no. Oh, from Rebecca. I think this was a Christmas shade. It's kind of a purpley red. That's actually really pretty on. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, here's another one from Estee Lauder. It is, a, oh God, that is that is dry like chalk is dry. So that's a, a bye bye Another metallic from Jouer. And again, that is a really coppery kind of look. No. This is that same lip gloss from Stila, just in a much different shade. Yeah. Actually, that is kind of what works out well for me as kind of a pinky neutral. So I'll hang on to it. NYX. Yeah, it's just kind of a glossy topper. Don't need it. Not keeping it. More for, oh, this is from Maybelline. Truffle Tease, shade 930. And I think this was my quest to find a really good nude lip color. And I think this was one of the good ones. I'll hang on to that. Also from Maybelline, this is Rosy Risk 211. I think I got this in a, um, oh, when I was trying out Dominique Sanchez's drugstore favorites or something. Not a really great shade on me. Bye-bye. Last but not least, ah. Oh, Lancome Juicy Tubes. These were all the rage. I don't know if they still are. This clearly was like a deluxe sample size. Maybe it came in a Sephora Favorites or something. It's pink. It's pink. No, not doing pink. And we did it. You did it. We made it through all of that. And let me do a quick count. And for those of you playing along at home of the 70 that I just went through, I am keeping 16, which I think is a job well done for me. If you like this video and you love decluttering videos, I have one here on my eyeshadow palettes, which I need to do again, or this playlist that has all of those in it.